So different mining pool, different flash sheet and also overclock settings but both are works. Hey my name is Surajit and welcome to my YouTube channel and today's video I am going to talk about Retherium and Radiant as a dual coin mining. Also test on this both coin as a dual coin in high voice. But before this someone is commenting me in before videos that about Retherium which is RTH means Rotherium on each google search result page it will not show retherium or anything related rth is already chosen by a coin it is going to be a scam so the answer is this is the actual coin that is proof of work based and also mineable coin and this is the icon for the actual retherium and the price is going right now is 0.18 cents and that one is the rotherium however both short form is the same rth but this is the coin that we are going to talk about for the mining purposes so you know in before that i make a video it's about that how to mine rotherium on the custom srb miner and also the wallet address on metamask for rotherium so if you want to mine rotherium as a single coin mining and also create a wallet address for rotherium in metamask then you can check it out this video i hope this will be helpful for you now for the dual coin mining i am using the overclock setting as dynex overclock setting in here again on the first step or the first flight set settings and for the second one there is some other settings i will show you in later and you are going to set the overclock setting as on the dynex overclock settings and in here hashrate.no you, know, you can see that rhythm and radiant is going to be a top and for the dual coin mining again argo and radiant is going to be a top and the revenue is right now generate on 0.24 cents and today in this video i am going to try as a dual coin mining for the radian and also the radium in two different ways the first one is the most easiest way that we make videos is about in before that how to mine the single coin dual coin and also the triple coin the same settings you are going to use in the first step for the easiest step and the other one is kind like a typical settings but if you see the carefully all the settings so this is not going to be a tough for you now let's go to the price section and for their radian right now the price is 0.002 cents and for the rhythm the price is 0.18 cents there are three different price in three different site on separate is 0.17 cents and on zegex there is 0.18 cents by the way i'm not going to discuss on this price section but this is the update however all the coins have different prices on different sites or exchanges and we are going to set the for the easiest flat sheet setting we are going to set the overclock setting as on the dynex overclock setting so let's back to the first one or the easiest setting on high voice so this is my high voice account and here you can see that the radiant and also the it has b3 or the rhythm is i just tested so let's back to the flat sheet and in here that you can see that this is the easiest way so i just edit on there on the flat sheet setting but before the flat sheet we are going to try on the wallet so the wallet is kind of like a same so if you want to create the rhythm wallet so you can definitely check out this video and if you create the radiant wallet so the same wallet setting just copy any of this exchange wallet or create the radiant main qt or the web wallet so this is the kind of like a same things that just select the coin and paste your wallet address set the name and create your wallet address and also for the rhythm and this is for the metamax so this is kind of like easy thing so that's why i just skip on in there so let's back to the flash sheet again so first coin i choose the rhythm in here second one i choose the metamax wallet for the rhythm i choose in here the mining for people and i am using the low difficulty and for this i am going to use as on the finland low difficulty server address in here apply on changes select the srb miner in there the second coin we are going to choose as on rxd the wallet we are going to choose for the radiant wallet and in the air i am use the r plant on r plant i am using the ac server in there and on setup config file just choose on the it has b3 so in here you can see that the it has but we are going to choose it has with the algorithm wall dot worker name the url 
and in this year I said the disable CPU and the second coin is the choose on the radiant SHA 52256 TT world dot worker name worker name URL password is for the X and also the disable CPU in here and apply on changes and create the flight sheet so let's see that the same settings in here or not here you can see and one more thing is that the this is for the overclock setting that we are using for the dynex this is the same overclock setting in here we are going to try on the dynex overclock setting in here and apply on changes just set the auto fan speed option in there and for the overclock setting i set the 170 for my v1 card and this is the actual thing and the second one is the difficult setting so we are going to try on the second settings on this here this is the other one and in here that you can see that i said only the one coin in here the rth rth metamask configured in minor and in here you can see that the mining for people direct server pool address i am using but in here i am choosing the configure in minor choose the srb minor and not the dual coin setting in here i said the dual coin settings on there the setup config file so you can see that no second coin is available on there just i said the first coin and on extra config file i said the second coin in here so just said that it has b3 algorithm and on wall and choose the wallet address from there and copy it from there delete from there and set here a dot and then paste it on there and how we can get the pool address so you can go on the retherium and this is the miningpool.com just click on the ecapool.com and you can go on there just click on the connect button and choose this one and copy it from there and paste on the same okay password as a x set the disable cpu option in from there and also you can get it from the other ones and uh, for the radiant this is the settings but how you can get this you can go again as a mining pool stat and choose the radiant in here and choose the viper.net click on the viper.net in here and on there choose radiant start mining go to wizard section and on there enter your wallet address so i am using my radiant wallet address from there just copy it from there and paste it on there next step choose any server from there so i am using the usa northeast or the germany so let's have a i choose this one and select next choose the windows version and on there you can see that bz minus is fee it's about one percent but the srb minus is 0.85 so we are going to choose the srb minus in there just copy and one more thing as i forget it's about that the paste your worker name in there so how you can get the worker name you just go on your worker and set your worker any of this so i paste out on there and you can see that i get the same my wallet address and also the rig name so i just copy it from there the full this one and paste out on there just delete the same just like the redrium settings and just paste it and save just like this and on there the same settings you can get it from there and this is the same so that's why i just delete it from there and for the overclock setting you can choose on this overclock setting just like the dynex overclock setting from there this is the same i give you this settings on my description so you can copy it from there or other ones you just delete it from there apply on changes create your flash sheet and on the direct overclock setting you set only the fan speed power limit and the memory clock so i set for my 3060 card so if you have others card you can set the other different overclock setting just like the dynex so this is the medium overclock setting so if you have 3070 3060 ti so you can choose the 3060 ti or the 3070 3080 from the hashtag.no and the same redrium overclock setting and just copy the memory clock and the power limit so i just said the memory clock not the core clock offset or the locked core clock just said the memory clock and also the power limit so in here i said the 150 and fan speed is about 80 and apply on changes but i am not said the direct overclock setting in here so that's why i choose this one 
on my flat sheet so i am going to use the easiest way and this is going to be not ha happen to be crazy so that's why i just said the overclock setting but if you want to try this settings so this is also be good but this is kind of like a typical ways so that's why i just not recommend about that but there is no issue you are going to make that or mine as a dual kind mining is on radian and the rhythm so this is the two settings in two different ways the most easiest way is the same the first settings i just showing in here just like this the same as a dual coin setting in here and for the other ones set only the single coin in here not the dual coin in here and on setup config file set the other coin not the second coin in here just the first coin and set this here and for the overclock setting set the direct overclock setting for the second one not the first one okay so this is the two settings that we are going to try on as a dual coin mining on radian and also the rhetorium so let's back to the live update that what is the hash rate that achieved on my 3060 card so here is the live update that here you can see that my 3060 beyond card is getting around 39.75 megahertz per second on rhetorium and on radian is getting around 350.62 megahertz per second and both are taking around 106 watt and total hash rate and the total wattage you can see in this here so this is the oral update in here and now let's back to the high voice again so this is the high voice account and here you can see that is achieved the same hash rate for the rhythm is 39.74 mega hash per second and radian is 358.4 mega hash and here you can see that is taking around 107 watt and here you can see i just said the power limit only the 170 and i just said the auto fan speed option in there not set any overclock setting in here just set only the power limit in here i just set all the settings on my flash sheet so here you can see that all the settings is here is applied on the flash sheet memory clock is 5000 core clock is 1500 and co offset is 250 so this is the overall things in this video that how to mine rhythm and also the radiant as a dual coin mining and you can get the hash rate it's about 39.51 for the rhythm and 358 for the radiant and i hope this is going to be a two are the different settings and this is going to be easiest and this is going to be something like a tough but if you get this carefully so this is also be easy for you so if this video is helpful for you please like and subscribe to my channel and also share this video is this one is helpful for you and tell me about that for the dual coin mining is our rhythm and also for the radiant and if you want to mine as a rhythm is a single coin mining so you can check it out this video and comment on me in there that what did you think about the rhythm mining or the dual coin mining as on radiant and the rhythm so this is it in this video so thanks for you guys see you in the next one